Hi, I wanted to show you how we can adjust window on GeoGebra. So if you open GeoGebra, you are going to see this is the default window. It's not so pretty, but the good thing about GeoGebra is that you can make anything as pretty as you would like on GeoGebra. Okay, first of all, let me just click somewhere to make this disappear. And you would like to go to move. Just click on this. You get to move the X and Y axis around like this. I like to have this view as square as possible. So let me try to make, let's say, 5.5 on each direction. So I will just kind of like uh, estimate this is about 5.5 up, 5.5 to the left, and I need to make this longer, like extend this on the bottom. So this is about 5.5, right? And for the right hand side, this is too long, so I will have to just like, make this shorter like this. And now this looks pretty square. And you would like to just like um, do the right click. You can check up the grids. So you can, let's say you want to make a graph paper for your students on the test, this is how you can do it. Anyways, do the right click again, let's go to graphics. Let me show you a few things that we can do with this. So, first of all, if you need to adjust the window, you can also adjust the window by hand right here on the basic. You can do the X and Y min max for the any value that you would like. You can just enter, that you, um, enter the values yourself. And you should keep the ratio one to one unless you have to do any kind of like non to scale pictures. Anyways, for the X and Y axis, I like to make it bold because when you are doing the photocopies, you should make the X and Y axis stand out. So let me just click on bold and I like to keep it in black for the color. You can also change it to a different color if you would like, but if you are making this, like photocopy this for your students, you should just do it with black and white, okay? Anyways, you can also choose a different style for the lines, so you can do a double arrow, but I personally just like one-way arrow, go to a positive direction, like this. Okay, so if you go to the X axis, a few things that we can do right here is that you can also just show the right-hand side, so the positive axis direction. So if you just click on that, that's, that will, you, you will get the whole thing for that. If you don't want the x-axis, you can just check that off, of course. If you don't want to show the numbers, you can just check this off as well. A good thing is that you can click on the distance and you can assign the numbers between each little uh, lines. So, by default, you have one, but then if you choose this, you can also change to pi or maybe pi over two. Especially when you want to do a sine, cosine graph, you should do the pi over two, right? But let me just go back to one. And you can do the same with the y-axis, okay? So you can change the directions, it's the same. Let's go to grid. If I want to print this out, as you can see, the grid right here is too light. Photocopy, the printer is not going to be doing a good job for you. So I would like to make the grid darker. So I will just go to color, and will make this into like a darker grid, but not black, because in that case, I don't see a nice contrast. So maybe this one, for example. And you could also change a different style for the dash line. So you can do like this, this part, just like dotted lines, if you would like. I keep it like this one. And you can also do like a polar coordinate um, graph, if you, if you would like. But let's just go back to Cartesian. You can make it bold, but I like to just keep it thin because I want to have the X and Y axis bold. I want them to stand out, and this is just like a um, assistant, you know, like the grid is just like the system for you to pick the numbers. Anyways, so as you can see, this is a pretty nice graph paper, and you can just like copy and paste this onto a work file, but I'm not done yet, because I think the numbers are too small. And if you think so too, what you can do is you can go to option, and go to font size, you can make the number bigger, let me just choose 24 for example, and as you can see, now the numbers are bigger, right? And once again, you can move this around. And another thing that you can do is, if you scroll up or down your mouth, then you can um, zoom in, zoom out. You can do a zoom in and zoom out like that. So let me just do it like this, okay? And now I have about like four, five on each direction. It looks pretty nice. and. If you just like close the GeoGebra now, the GeoGebra is not going to save this for you. What you will need to do is 
go to option and then say save settings so this uh, this way if you close this and by the way you should always save a picture you should always save any like a uh, GeoGebra project that you're doing so let me just save this on the desktop let me just say um, this is a 4x4 four four graph paper okay so I saved the setting so if you open GeoGebra now you're going to see that we have that setting right so if you like to use this setting you should just do the save setting so this, um, every time you can you don't need to like, do, go through the whole thing again okay now let me show you how we can import this how we can export this onto a work file go to file go to export and I'm going to save the view place the graphic view as the picture so I click on this and I think PNG is the one that will work really nicely I'm going to click on save and I'm going to save on the desktop 4x4 graph paper and I'm going to open my document right here for Word so maybe I'm doing a test right I'm coming out a test for the student I just I'm going to go to insert photo photo from file on desktop Let's choose this maybe I'm asking the students to grab me an equation for line graph that way y is equal to a 2x plus 1 so uh, I can ask the students to you know use the graph paper I provide graph y is equal to 2x plus 1 right here okay so this is it this is how you change the window and you know copy and paste onto a work file and if you watch my other videos i'm going to show you more a few more things and thanks for watching um yeah that's it for this one